This short video will take you through setting up a FlexLM license service on a PC for Pipesim. When Pipesim is installed, the directories it is usually installed under is Program Files, Slumberger, and then Programs. In the Programs directory itself, you'll find a executable called LM Tools, which is the graphical user interface to set up um, FlexLM. So we need to choose that and to go first of all to the system settings this will list out all the system parameters that you will need to send to your Slumberjay account manager to obtain a license and normally the process would be to save host ID into a file um, and then attach that file to an email to be sent once you have a license file sent back you can go to the configure services file and to configure a new service to run the program Normally what we do here is we suggest that you give the service a descriptive name, say PipeSim, so in the future you'll be able to uh, debug it with an engineer should the problems occur. The second thing you need to do is to select the path to the lmgrd.exe, which is the main master daemon. And as before, this resides in the uh, program files, Slumberger, uh, PipeSim directory and we want to select the uh, lmgrd.exe file. The next file we need to select is a path to a license file and here we'll select in fact an Eclipse license but when you get your file from the user it will be uh, the same thing. You also need to select a log file. This is the file that takes the output when Flex is running and is useful for debugging purposes should something go wrong when um, Flex is running and the support engineer will almost certainly ask you for this file. The one downside is this file must exist before you select it as the program doesn't create it itself. Having done that you can then select use services and start the server at power up. This will cause the license server to be started when the PC is rebooted so you don't need to do it every time. You then select save service and this will set the service pipes in. We can then go to start stop reread panel um, select the service we want to start and then uh, hit start server. You should see start server successful in the status bar at the bottom. You can then go to the service data panel and to perform surface query. This should list in the window exactly what's going on, um, what licenses are up, and you should be able to tell from here that the server is correctly started. To go to find out what's in the log file, if you go back to the configure services panel, pick view log, a log file will appear which will contain all the information about licenses that are running, um, what services are selected and what versions of the license are there. To close the file you just click on close log. To stop the service if you wish to do so you can click stop server and this will stop the license server. At the very first thing you will be able to see there is a service is called new key. This is a incorrect service and to delete that if you go back to the configure services parameter click new key remove service it will obviously question you to do that. If you already have an Eclipse service running on the system or any other licensed servers they will show up um, in the main screen and that it is really as simple as that.